Several of you have asked me to uh, make a updated version of the uh, Katie Krogan 36 Manatee walkthrough after we did the repairs and here we are in the forward cabin um, panning forward not a whole lot was done up here in this cabin uh, the teak was all in pretty good shape we took down a bunch of mirrors that the former owner decorated the boat with 30 in all uh, we put a new hatch in uh, a hat, new hatch screen the uh, tubes for the chain were all replaced and redone the teak is in very good shape and it just took a little cleaning and, and finishing to get it looking right. The floors were all refinished with uh, verthane, polyurethane. You saw the computer in the forward stateroom and we've got a uh, printer hooked up to it which is lives up in the uh, pantry. Cleaning supplies, laundry, etc. <laughs> with it. The hardest part of the whole job was redoing the galley in the head because the uh, formica on the walls was all cracked and, and deteriorated, holes drilled in it. We had to replace every wall panel with a brand new full sheet of formica cut perfectly so that all we had to do was caulk and not use any kind of teak battens or teak corners uh, that breaks it up and makes it look old. Uh, so we have a nice clean looking uh, galley and head. Fridge was new. Uh, I installed Corian countertops, actually Staron, but same thing as Corian. New plumbing, new sinks, uh, the water maker is installed underneath there, brand new stove. New uh, window treatments everywhere of course. Then in the head, the walls were done in the head also. Uh, star on new plumbing fixtures, mirror, the head is a Graco model KH, excellent head, best, it costs a thousand bucks, well worth it, three inch bronze piston, you could pump a watermelon down that thing and, and not break it. <laughs> um, the shower was completely redone, uh, new valves, new shower, stainless steel, uh, shampoo caddy and close uh, 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 oh no, main towel bars and mirror and stuff in the salon uh, there was a electronics cabinet here where the swing out TV flat screen panel TV is and the Bose speakers and we put all those electronics and a, and a few more down here in the first locker and then, because we wanted it to match, we put black starboard sliding doors on, on all the other lockers. I built a uh, coffee table that stores a bunch of canned goods and, and products, and the top lifts off and mounts as a normal height dining room table for four, which uh, works quite nicely. The uh, uh, we put fans, a little bit of artwork. Uh, you can't see any of the stuff that, that I did down below. The All the engine work and new through holes and new plumbing and uh, water maker and high output alternator, etc. Uh, I built those corner cabinets. Uh, we didn't have time to replace the couch and we just left the carpet and put a new table in there. Uh, we still need to redo all that, but we just didn't have time before we left for the Bahamas, so uh, I want the boat safe and comfortable before we came down here. And uh, so we did the main things that we had to do. Uh, the new Isinglass and screen for the, the back porch for the veranda there. That's worked really nice, and uh, by being closed in the 20 degrees uh, when coming down the east coast, uh, we were able to s keep our tomato plants alive and growing. I also built a 40-inch uh, fish cleaning table that uh, mounts on the back 
two little pedestal holes here and right next to the uh, handheld uh, shower which makes cleanup nice and easy that's about it for downstairs we're in the Bahamas right now we're at Staniel Key um, and that's where this video is is being done the mast is brand new there was no mast on this boat and I needed a mast to uh, for a home for my radar and uh, TV antenna plus I needed it to uh, be able to lift the 11 foot 8 inch rib up onto the upper deck and it fits up here nicely and rode all the way down the east coast offshore very nicely of course have the mandatory grill and outboard motor mount line mounts view bucket cleaning bucket extra propane yeah they're the little cottages off uh, Staniel Key Yacht Club beautiful little island fun place to hang out inside the uh, dash was completely redone all new Garmin uh, electronics autopilot uh, big screen touch screen uh, chart plotter etc very comfortable place to hang out and real easy to read the Bahamian waters when you're moving through them to know know what kind of depth you're in you don't even need the, uh, the depth sounder forward I totally rebuilt the bow platform it was hollow I put uh, wood coring in there because I mounted a 50 pound Lumar H2 windlass on it we have a big Rockna main anchor and a fortress anchor as a as a backup or or second anchor everything has worked well it's a beautiful boat it has handled well offshore even in beam seas although it gets a little rolly we love it thanks